all right so um back to this note um let's check another snoot effect um, we have and this is also good when you want to change background okay so it's actually very very okay um we can use all of these any of this snoot works fine so uh even now i'm even confused on the one to use so i'm, I'm going to show you um a practical example of this one let me drag in this one okay so something like this um this is an this is a background you can use this background anytime just make it bigger and then drag it let it size so it's okay okay no snoot effect yet although i downloaded this leaf and you can get it i'm going to show you how to even apply it so drag it below and there we go so you just need to position uh, on top of it and that's all you know it's actually we have backgrounds you can use we have studio backgrounds so let me quickly show you studio backgrounds we have um go to desktop meet retouch okay let's go up and once i go up i'm going to check our pack one so we have backgrounds studio backgrounds we have um six different studio background a lot of it okay so back to the tutorial you can get the pack and this is as easy as you can see you don't need to stress yourself and you know you can also change the blending mode but i don't think it's actually very um, good for you to change the blending mode to soft light and the rest okay so sometimes just leave me leaving it alone it's gonna give you what you want but if you don't uh see that um i'm just gonna do ctrl z z z z z okay so let's say we have it like this i've duplicated i want to apply snoot to it so i've taught you how to apply um, the background and let's just go to image all right um image yeah image sorry the where the snoot are snoot 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 go back back yeah our snoot so let's pick any any of the snoot let's use this one make it bigger and drag it over head and you know what to do all right so sometimes you can just you know go in and remove the black side when i mean the black side double click and you know remove the you know darker side and you are left with this and increase so whichever one for you to just make sure you have that selected so you can do it like that and have your you know black out part of the news but i'm going to cancel it and um what we need to do drag it below and we have this one and then we can change the blend mode filter sorry blend mode screen whichever one you can change it to you know screen now once you change it to screen you have this one you can go ahead go to filter blow question blow and you're going to blow it on the background that's too much it's okay so all this one require no little says i should resize let's just resize so something like that and it's okay you can drag it towards this place yep and probably let's give it some max and use our brush to make sure the foreground color is black and i can erase some of the place i don't need something like that and that's all you can decrease the flow or opacity okay so that's just what you need to know about that and like i said our background i have a background you can quickly drop it and use art to make it bigger and drag it up till she stands on it so now what happens to this place you can hold down shift and you know drag it below if you if you can get it so just take it on top like this and that should do okay so you can resize you can drag it below the snoot 
and have our snoot effect on it and make the snoot smaller and we can even make the um, give color to the snoot let's drag this snoot towards the right side make it smaller and drag it like this you can make it smaller and change the color of the snoot out by grabbing the hue and saturation adjustment clipping it to it and you will probably change the if it refuses to change it's very easy so let's delete let's get rid of that and grab the solid color adjustment it's okay clip it holding and hot clip it to you know to the layer and then change the oh okay so that didn't that didn't work let's delete it delete backspace um what can we do now uh, for uh, i think there is a way to go about making this color look more like that and i just use that but let's try and use the selective color clip it to it and then go to the white and probably had some colors okay i guess this one works fine and add some yellows to it to just make it look like the background let's give it some greens and the rest so you can change the color from this place you can now add you and saturation and start manipulating the colors you and saturation clip it to it and then you can manipulate the color so you can see how it's affecting the background decreasing increasing and all of that so like that all right just because i altered the colors in the image all right so all these are ways you can use the you know the snoot effect so it's in the pack you can get the pack and i'm going to give you all of it so in the mid retouch pack we have let me go up and talk about the pack a little 